So it looks like the Flood are back in the Halo universe, and they could be at their most dangerous yet. As for the first time in the recorded history of the UNSC, the parasitic hive mind has managed to infect members of the Spartan Super Soldier program, posing a threat to the galaxy unlike any other. In response to so dire a threat, localised UNSC forces have enacted containment protocols, contingency plans that are so drastic, so merciless, that they are almost as terrifying as the flood itself. According to a recent transmission from Captain Alvarez of the warship UNSC Saturn, personnel had been partaking in flood containment operations at Site-22, a forerunner complex that housed a flood containment facility. Installations in which the ancient forerunners kept flood specimens in stasis for use in research that could one day provide a cure for the all-devouring parasite. This was a mistake, however, as instead of wiping out the flood entirely with the firing of the halo rings, the vain arrogance of the forerunners kept traces of the flood scattered around the galaxy, hidden away in these facilities, ready to be awoken and wreak havoc on the galaxy. Now, after their initial run-in with the flood, the UNSC came to the conclusion that it's not a very good idea to keep such a deadly parasite just lying around. So upon the conclusion of the Human Covenant War, specialised flood containment teams were created, volunteer organisations of the most battle-hardened and mentally fortified troops that were deployed to eradicate any signs of flood infection found throughout the galaxy. And the main tool utilised by these groups are the flood containment fire teams, groups of four to five Spartan Gen 4s that are trained in specialist wargame scenarios, aimed at educating the super soldiers in how to best contain and eradicate any traces of the flood either left lingering from their recent outbreaks or contained within forerunner facilities. To assist these brave guys and gals in this most perilous of assignments, specialised equipment has been developed for use when deployed against the flood, including the experimental Hive Mind variant of Mjolnir Power Armor, and a unique variant of the Hrunting Mark III exoskeleton, known as the Hazops Cyclops. It was equipped with biolab grade environmental sealing to prevent flood infection of the pilot, and it was armed with an arm-mounted energy weapon and a heavy flamethrower to help cleanse infested areas of any flood biomass. And there were also some unique helmet visors, including the purposely designed flood visor and the gallows visor, a rather macabre invention that features fail-safe explosives within the visor, designed to detonate if the Spartan equipped with it should be compromised by the parasite destroying the helmet and everything inside of it. Despite all of the training, all of the technology, all of the failsafes, at Forerunner Site 22, one or more of the flood containment fire team from the UNSC Saturn have been compromised by flood infection forces, corrupting the body of the Spartan or Spartans into a weapon unlike any other possessed by the flood before. As a result, Captain Alvarez has declared the Upsilon and Corruptor Protocols. Upsilon Protocol suspends all United Earth Government and UNSC rules of engagement, prioritising all efforts towards the containment of the imminent flood threat. Spartan forces are also prohibited from handling any flood biomass, and instructed not to lend aid to infected personnel. Then, upon the declaration of the Corruptor Protocol, all UNSC forces are given seven minutes to withdraw to a secure perimeter around Site-22. As the UNSC Saturn comes into position above the site and is given authorization to begin orbital bombardment, unleashing a torrent of Mach gunfire and fusion warheads in an all-out attempt to eradicate the corrupted Spartan, a blunt force approach akin to how the Covenant glass any location that shows signs of the flood demonstrating just how serious a threat the UNSC believe a single corrupted Spartan is to the people of the galaxy. Are you excited to see the return of the Flood? Would you volunteer to be part of these Flood containment teams? Let me know down in the comments and make sure to subscribe to Law Tours to join us again soon. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.
The Lord Tours Spaceport is your destination for tours through the most fascinating worlds, groups, and events in the multiverse. From sci-fi to fantasy, we have it all. So make sure to subscribe and book your next trip with us.